Here we see a typical Apple user in their natural habitat. They may tell you about their iPhone or make fun of your Android, but they're harmless, don't worry. Let's see what they're about to do. Oh, you're wondering what this is? Well, it's an Apple product, an iPhone. <laughs> oh, uh, excuse me, I couldn't hear you through my AirPods Pro Max uh, 2 Plus. Oh, why use it? Well, I mean, it makes me look rich. It makes me look cool. It makes me look like I have a lot of money, like I have a lot of tech knowledge. I mean, come on, look at this. Look at these. Come on. Why don't I use an Android? Because I'm a tech enthusiast. Android doesn't have a good camera. Samsung? Nah. They don't have FaceTime. They have Google Duo. Oh no. They almost have everything, but I'm gonna use my secret weapon. <laughs> you don't have iMessage. What? They even have that? Maybe, maybe I was the monster all along. Does that mean I was poor all along? Hi there pros, my name is Bretzbro and today I'm going to show you something very cool. I'm going to show you how to enable RCS on any Android device. It's not hard, it's easy. And uh, what's RCS? Do you know what iMessages is? It's just that but for Android. Oh, you don't know what iMessages is? How can I explain it? So in simple words, we will be upgrading your SMS app. So you can send your SMSs via your carrier, but now you will have also the option to send messages via the internet. Why do I need that, you may ask? Well, you can send images, videos, stickers. So you're literally adding Telegram or WhatsApp features on your SMS app. And <laughs> that's cool. Okay, this intro is too long. <laughs> Let's get into the video. So here we are. In my case, I got a Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus running Android 11 One UI 3.1. This will work in any Android phone. So first things first, you won't be needing any more your messages app. In my case, I have Samsung messages. We'll be installing Google messages. So go to the Play Store and search for Google messages. Install messages by Google. Or if you don't have the Play Store for some reason, I've left the alternative download link in the description. You can download Google Messages manually from here. So, download the most recent version. This one seems the biggest number, 8.4, because all the other ones are smaller. Tap on it. Scroll down. And as you can see, here are three variants. If you have an Android Go device, download the one that says Go Dynamic. If you have any other Android device, download the phone dynamic version. This is the default one. So tap on it. Scroll down and tap on download APK. Now go to your downloads directory and tap on the file you just downloaded. Settings and then allow from the source. Go back and tap on install. Well, I already installed it. Open it. Okay. Set it as your default SMS app. Tap on messages. Set as default. And then tap on the triple dot at the top right, tap on settings. Now at the top it's chat features. Tap on enable chat features, allow, and then wait for it to verify your number. And it got verified immediately. Sometimes it may take 5 minutes, 10 minutes, maybe maximum it even may take 1 hour. But if you notice that it's stuck on connecting, just restart your device. For example, this friend doesn't have RCS and it will show us text message here. Now this friend has RCS and as you can see, it will say chat message. This messages will be sent via the internet. If you don't have internet, it will be sent via SMS. So that's all here. Enjoy it and share it with as many friends as you can. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you feel superior to those iPhone users, please leave a like. 
And if you want to share how superior you are to an iPhone user, please comment below and ask any questions you may have. And don't forget, only superior, <laughs> only superior mobile users become pros. So subscribe to become a superior pro. Well, bye.